Hey guys, it's Jen with another painting. Um, <clears throat> this painting is kind of like my last painting that I named Golden Drops, but this one is called Silver Drops. And um, just like Golden Drops reminded me of a mixture between the sun and a sunflower, this Silver Drops painting makes me think about the moon and moonflowers, which leads me to moon gardens. And I don't know if if you guys knew about moon gardens, but there are certain flowers that only bloom at night. And um, actually, the flowers that bloom at night have more of a fragrant, um, you know, a more of a an aromatic smell and, and are more fragrant than a lot of the daytime flowers. So if you're into gardening, I highly suggest starting a little moon garden for yourself. Not only will you feel like you have a magical secret in your backyard, but you'll be helping the nighttime pollinators. And the nighttime pollinators are just as important as the daytime pollinators. Okay, so flowers that bloom during the night are super fragrant and beautiful. Like I said, they help your yard uh, they help beautify your yard after night or after dark and they help the moths, bats, and certain types of native bees. I did not know that there were bees that pollinated at night, but after a little bit of research, I found out and now you know too. <laughs> um, bats are essential nighttime pollinators and a lot of bats are endangered um, and going extinct and you know bats they eat mosquitoes I mean, just do your research like bats are super important and people just don't know so now you know and now you can do your research if you wanted to but anyway so bats moths and native bees are all important nighttime pollinators that will benefit from your moon garden you should do some research for yourselves to see which glorious moonflower calls out to you but a few of them that I like um, are the Night Blooming Jasmine, which is one of the more fragrant ones. Night Blooming Jasmine smells so good. Like the Night Blooming Jasmine is a plant that you do not have to bend over to sniff. Like you do not have to pull the flower up to your nose to smell it. You can just stand next to the bush and freaking smell it. It's amazing. Okay, so Night Blooming Jasmine. Then there's the moonflower, which is beautiful, big, white blooms. If you have a water feature in your backyard, such as like a pond, um, a pond, a lake, a water fountain, you know, a koi pond, whatever, they have night blooming water lilies. Uh, evening primrose is gorgeous and super fragrant as well. Night phlox, night gladiolus. The list goes on. I could literally name so many more, but just do your research. Go to Google and type in uh, night flowers and, and see which one um, looks the best to you and that makes you want to plant it in your backyard. Imagine hosting a fun get-together in your backyard with your friends, um, having a cocktail night under the enchanting moonlight or a s'mores night. You and your guests would be surrounded in moonbeams and the aromatic scent of the flowers all around you. Imagine the moon's light dancing off of the white and pale pink blooms. I'm sure that the beauty of your garden would inspire your guests to plant their own fragrant gardens at home. Moon gardens are perfect for meditating peacefully under the moonlight and helping the native night time pollinators so what's not to love about them imagine having like a crappy day at work it's nighttime you get home you're po'd you know like you've had you're just ticked off and you had a crappy day and you grab a beer or a glass of wine or just whatever juice whatever and you go outside and you sit under a beautiful arbor that you planted you know with moonflower vines and you're under the moonlight, you're meditating, you're just sitting there decompressing from your crappy day, and you're smelling this beautiful flower. Just imagine the peace, the peace that you would see and feel. Anyway, 
So I googled the meaning behind the spiritual meaning behind the moonflower and it is said that the moonflower helps to heal wounds of abandonment and betrayal and supports your heart while you while you heal. Um, also, moonflowers are known to be associ associated with romantic love and dreams. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't mind having some heart healing flower in my backyard. Um, the moonflower also has some medicinal properties too. Their seeds have been used in certain indigenous cultures as a sedative and also to help anxiety. The leaves and stems are also edible as well. Certain cultures would wrap their food that they cooked in the moonflower leaves. Now, y'all, I'm not a doctor. Before you go popping moonflower seeds or whatever, just do your research, okay? Like, this is just what I found online. I love looking up um, different medicinal properties and spiritual properties of certain plants. Like, um, you can make homemade medicines and homemade tinctures and homemade cleaning products and, and homemade, you know, shampoos and lotions and whatever. But you definitely have to do your research, okay? So that's just what I found about the moonflower. Um, and I didn't know that the leaves and the stems were edible, which I thought was pretty cool. Anyway, so you can plant the moonflower to cover a wall, a fence, or make a pretty sitting area you know, under an arbor and let the healing and magic of the night soothe your aching heart. I hope that this inspired you to look into moonflowers, moon gardens, nighttime pollinators, um, you know, whatever. And, you know, I just love this. I love painting. I love doing a little research here and there and drop in my little knowledge facts. Here's the reveal. I hope you love my painting just as much as I love painting it. It's just fun and cute. But until the next time, I will see you later. Bye, guys.